Howdy, this is Jim Richter, and I'm here today to ask you to do something for me. And really, it's something that you would do for yourself if you're a lover of fine music. Uh, but most importantly, it, it is something that you will do that has a very special meaning and cause attached to it. Uh, probably the greatest blues mandolinist who ever have lived, and, and definitely the most well-known, is Yank Rachel. Uh, Yank Rachel was um, born down in Brownsville, Tennessee, in the early part of the last century. Um, he recorded with Sleepy John Estes in the late 1920s, early 30s. One of the songs he recorded uh, became a very famous song in the late 1970s, I think maybe it was 1980, in the uh, first Blues Brothers film, and that song was She Caught the Katie. Uh, the song that goes, She Caught the Katie, Left Me a Mule to Ride. Um, Yank moved to Indianapolis in the 1950s, Indianapolis, Indiana, and that's where he lived the rest of his life. While his compatriots traveled on, like the original Sonny Boy Williams in Chicago, he stayed in Indianapolis with his wife. And that is where he passed away in the late 1990s. I, I, I could be wrong here, but I believe it was 1997, 96 or 97. Um, Yank influenced just innumerable people through both his songwriting and his mandolin playing. And in the course of his mandolin playing, you see individuals like Rich Del Grosso, Andrew Fay, uh, myself, many people in this area, um, people around the world who have been influenced by his mandolin playing because he's one of the greatest and uh, most well-known, much like Bill Monroe in the realm of mandolin music and, and bluegrass music. Um, any case, a friend of mine, Mike Butler, out of Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, very much a lover of Yank and, and, and uh, knew Yank. He is actually the person who owns Yank's primary electric mandolin, which was the uh, the great harmony batwing uh, mandolin that you've seen uh, in so many pictures, I've uh, seen Yank with in so many pictures, uh, owns that mandolin. And he put together a recording project, which is a, a tribute to Yank Rachel. And you can buy this at yankrachel.com. And the album is just incredible. Um, it has Many lovers of Yank. It has a, a good representation of, of blues, electric blues, country blues, uh, bluegrass artists, acoustic artists, folk artists, um, everyone and anyone who is um, a lover of Yank is, is on there. Most notably, Tim O'Brien with Texas Tony. Texas Tony, I can't bother, Jack indeed, my lord, Texas Tony, I can bother, Jack, I do it. And Dave Grisman and John Sebastian doing Tapping That Thing. Tapping that thing is easy to do, you got that thing for your particular use, tap that thing. We've got Rich Del Grosso doing Shotgun Blues. Bring me my shotgun. We've got Andrew Fay. My baby's gone. My baby's gone. Mike Seeger. When you go down in deep bellum to have a little fun, you better have your Peter Rowan. It was in the spring, one sunny day, my good guy left me. You got myself with Gordon Bonham. All the proceeds of this album go to benefiting Yank's family. Yank's family um, are having a lot of difficulties. Is, are having a lot of difficulties right now, uh, most notably with Yank's granddaughter Sheena, who is very, very ill and has kids to support, and not much means to um, to to support them and also take care of her illness. And you know, it's unfortunate. 
that when we look at many of the first generation blues artists, country artists, bluegrass artists, those guys, very few of them made a cent. You go into, um, you know, some hotel, like in the case of Yank, you go into some hotel room where there's someone there from Victor or whoever who pays them $50 a song. They sell away the rights to their song. They're happy to get that money because that's more money than they've ever seen. But years down the road, when those you know songs have been recorded by second, third generation blues musicians, and then one of them gets very popular, um, you know they really don't see that money returned to them. And Yank died very modestly. Um, uh, I can't say that that I was one of the ones who was was pitching in there at the end because I wasn't wasn't in Indianapolis. But I know people who would raise money to buy Yank a, an air conditioner when Yank was very ill or drive Yank to dialysis. So, you know, we talk about Yank Rachel being the world's greatest mandolin player or blues mandolinist or the most known who really influenced many people. Um, unfortunately, as great as those accolades are, it doesn't, many times, doesn't convert to real income, doesn't convert to a livelihood, sustainability. And as, you know, I think it's the least that we can do lovers of, of blues music, of mandolin music, to support this effort. And $20, you buy a CD, which is what you would pay for a CD, which has shipping included. Um, and know that the money, that the proceeds from that go to benefit the, you know, the, the artist's family. That you're getting more than just a great retrospective or, you know... Um, a greatest hits package of artists, you know, uh, you know, like for example, there was a band CD. There was, um, I think, there's been a Springsteen one where there's all different artists coming together. The Moody Blues thing that was in the the bluegrass world, those are profit, to the best of my knowledge, profit generating CD projects. This is not a profit generating CD project. This is non for profit for the benefit of Yanks family. So I highly encourage you to do it. Um, you know, if the 40,000 people who've watched one of my blues videos or the 30 plus thousand who've watched one of my Voodoo Child videos, if even a, a, a portion, 10% or less, went and bought that CD, that would help in many regards. So again, the website to go to is yankrachel.com, Y-A-N-K-R-A-C-H-E-L-L.com. And there is a link to the right um, under the description for this particular track. So I thank you very much, and you know, please please share your wealth. Thanks.